Welcome to solving linear systems of equations by the substitution method. In the substitution method, we are going to solve one of our two equations for one variable, setting it equal to another variable in our constant, and then substitute the value that we found into our first equation. For example, we have 3x plus 4y is equal to a negative 4. And we have the other system of x plus 2y is equal to positive 2. I need to solve one of these two systems for one variable, x or y. It does not matter which one. Some will be easier, but again, it does not matter which you solve for. I am going to solve algebraically for x in my, se in my second equation here. So solving for x, I'm going to subtract 2 times y from both sides, which cancels my 2 times y in the left hand of the equation, leaving me with x being equal to a negative 2 times y plus a positive 2. It's at this step, now that I have this simplified, that I will substitute this x from the second equation that I found into my first equation. So everywhere now that I see x, I will substitute into the quantity 2 x, 2, negative 2, y plus a positive 2. So substitute it. I have 3 times what was my x value and is now a negative 2 times y plus 2, close quantity, plus 4y. being equal to a negative 4. Again, notice that the only sub thing that the substitution replaced was the variable x, because x we know is equal to the negative 2 times y plus 2, and that's exactly where it lines up. So it's essentially the same equation. At this point, I'm going to distribute my 3 and solve the problem. So 3 times a negative 2y gives me a negative 6 times y plus 3 times 2 gives me 6 plus 4 times y, which is simply the next step, equals a negative 4. Solving here, I'm going to combine my 6y and my 4y. The negative 6y plus 4y gives me a negative 2 times y plus 6, which is set equal to a negative 4. At this point, I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides to get rid of the 6 on the left side of the equation, leaving me with this canceling and a negative 2y being equal to a negative 4 plus a negative 6, or a negative 10. And now we divide the entirety by the coefficient of y, which is a negative 2. These cancel. Negative divided by negative, each becomes a positive, And we find that y is equal to 5. Here, now that we know that the y coordinate is 5, we need to substitute back into either equation to find our x coordinate. I'm going to take and substitute my y as 5 into the first equation that we started to work with, and over here I'll do this in blue to find my x, and now I have x plus 2 times this y value 5, 2 times 5, is to be equal to positive 2, and so I'm finding that x plus 2 times 5, or 10, is to be equal to 2, subtracting 10 from both sides. My 10s cancel out here. I find that x is equal to a negative 8. I now know that x is equal to a negative 8. y is equal to 5. So our solution to this equation, or this system of equations, is the coordinate negative 8 from our x and 5 from our y value. 